What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team stand up! I gotta have so much energy and so much motivation to just even like, bro, we're starting this early and there's a fly. Leave me alone, bro. Let me do my video. Bro, I'ma just let y'all know this off the rip right now, bro. I am waking up from being extremely sad, bro. So long story short, man, your boy, I got you. Long story short, man, kid was living his life, you know what I'm saying? Went to a good old party, you know what I'm saying, the other day. And I had a little baddie, not gonna lie, I had a little baddie. She comes back all the way to the crib, eats my snacks, eats all of my snacks, smokes all of my shit, watches my Netflix for the free. Then when it's time to get in them cheeks, dips. You mean to tell me? This girl came over here and did all that and left me with the biggest ice glacier blue balls, bro. Bro, I swear, man, y'all L.A. hoes ain't shit, bro. Every single one of y'all L.A. hoes, bro. You ain't shit, man. Like, the amount of sadness I was going through, going to bed last night, and on top of that, bro, I lost my main chick, too, bro. She went ahead and got her tat covered up, bro. Like, this is just honestly low-key not a good weekend for me, bro. So, with that being said, bro, we came and stumbled upon something that is probably going to raise my blood pressure extremely high. You guys remember that good old Walking L documentary? If you guys have been subscribed to me since at least 2017, type OG in the comment section. If you haven't, don't you even dare look at your keyboard right now because I know... I can see. I can see the year you're subscribed. Every single one of y'all in the comment section. Don't even try it. Don't even try and comment OG if you ain't even been subbed that long because I will expose you. So, man, you know, whenever I'm down, you always got to fire up a video, man. We apparently have a part two. The same dude who made the same Walking Out documentary many, many years ago. And I'm still trying to find him to this day. You, can, you might as well just add those two L's that I just explained to this documentary. Hopefully they're not on there already, but we're going to check it out. Hopefully I don't leave you out of here crying. So I went ahead and, uh, you know, uh, went on to the timestamp everybody was telling me to go to it because I guess he was just doing like some flashbacks for the last three minutes of this. So full video will be down below in the description. If it's not, I have to go bald and see Scout tomorrow. Yeah. Here we go. Chapter 2. 55 overall with expressive badges. Do you know how much low level of respect you have to have for me to call me anything below a 75 overall? How can you even sleep at night knowing that you called a nigga like me a 55 overall and you not only gave me one badge, you gave me the wackest badge in the game. Expressive badge? Hey, bro, I'm going to tell you guys this right now. I'm about to delete the Bone Collector game, man. Because every day I wake up, every day I go on Instagram, there is at least eight people tagging me in this Bone Collector stuff. You guys forget I am playing. I played a professional street ball player. Like, be fair. And I scored a whole point, bro. Oh, my God. Look at this. Why are y'all pausing all the time at this spot? Half of you guys that are doing that are bro. You know what? I blame your rage, bro. Your rage does not miss a beat. I blame your rage because when I did this b-ball 1v1 with Trash Nasty, this man made a whole thumbnail with my body like this, bro. I did not even mean to fall like that. Do you know if I would have fell and rolled it? Bro, it's concrete, bro. I fell on my tailbone. You guys are weird, bro. You're letting a whole man pause. Bro, first of all, I didn't even pause it. Ain't think it was cool. I'm going to let you know now, Chief. This ain't Nick, dumbass. Why are you pausing like that, bro? Yeah, of course. The LNU game, you go ahead and play the worst parts. Even though this game right here, I took the dub. You go ahead and play the worst highlighted parts, bro. I'm trying to tell you, man. I want this guy's address, bro, man. What the fuck going on, bro? I'm trying to snap back the reality real quick. Fact one. Still gets excited over Bucket. 
That's right. Scored that one point. Yes, sir. That was the best success of revenge, bro. Revenge of success, I think is how you call it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bro, I'm such a goat, bro. Look at these shots that nobody's giving me credit for, bro. But I'm a 50. I'm supposed to be a 55 overall with an expressive badge. Right here, right here in these layups. I almost fell, by the way. Right here in these layups. Look at that, man. Off shot. Bro, I literally made Duke, you know what I'm saying, look so bad defensively right there, bro. That shot, especially right here on this point of the video, bro, that's a D1 basketball shot. That's a signed yearly NBA contract player shot, bro. Nobody wants to give me my credit for where is Duke, bro. I don't like it, man. I don't like it at all. Yes, sir, and bro, look how non-scared I was to take that bucket up, bro. A big block. Big block. I did not cheat Miles Brown. Stop saying I scammed Miles Brown, bro. I did not scam nobody. Y'all are mad that I took the W, bro. Okay. I like that. Yes, sir. And I called it out too, bro. There you go. Oh, this is my favorite moment. This is my favorite moment in summer, yo. Yes, sir. Oh, that was last year. Though. That was last summer, though. But that was my favorite, probably, scoring moment in basketball. That spin, bro. Hold on, man. I'm a 55 overall with an expressive badge. Make it, bro. 55 overalls make this move. Brian Scalabrini can't even make this move. LeBron can't even make this move, man. Yeah. No, we're not going to skip over that. We're not going to skip over that. 55 overalls make these moves. 55 overall make these moves, right? That's what I thought. Yeah! What are you talking about? 55 overalls make those moves, though, right? That's a whole NBA move. Wait, Wait hold on. He... What did he just say? Fact 2 can play defense. Absolutely! Absolute facts. Wait, I need you to do it. Look at that, bro. Defensive stop and taking it up. Okay, so that. You know, Miss Bucket is facts too. Can't play defense. That doesn't make any sense. How do you just give me credit and take it away? He just did that same move three times, bro. <laughs> he just told him to freeze, too. He told him to freeze. Bro, and I was so exhausted at that point too, bro. Look, that was low-key good defense right here on this possession. If I would have just jumped, it would have been better defense. I should have got that. He, he pulled off the NBA straight move. That was good defense too. I had my hand in his face. Phenomenal defense too, that was just a lucky layup. How do you say that I can play defense and then take it away? These these clips do have, have no factual proof whatsoever, bro. These clips have factual proof, no proof whatsoever, bro. That was a good defense possession right there. That was a football move. He just got lucky. He pushed off on his arm. Make him go right, dude. Bro, trash nasty. Nobody asked you. not that serious he's a bandwagon no I'm not breakfast ball Helen 
Look how long I've been a warrior. Oh fan, my bro. god, that is dope as fuck. No NBA player right now can even do that fucking shit, bro. Exactly. That is fucking amazing. Bro, that's a throwback to shoes in the back of the bedroom, bro. This is like this is like 2015, 2016, bro. How am I a bandwagon? I've been a Warriors fan for like three to four years. You guys go to another team when another player is ready to sign. How all of a sudden everybody's a Lakers fan now? People are Clippers fans. Imagine being a Clipper fan, bro, five years ago. Bro, I'm the most solid NBA fan known to mankind, bro. shit right here. This is what I'm talking about. Pure athleticism and pure agility, bro. This has to take the right sense of mind. Like, only a player out of one in a million years comes like that into form, bro. Everybody needs to witness greatness, man. We were playing on the road. Of course, we're going to have to switch it up to the home. We are going to be playing the Chicago Bulls, my favorite NBA player. Are you still... All right, look. This wasn't... Flight reacts talking. This was flight. You guys gotta remember that I have multiple personalities. And you also gotta remember the excuse factor. There is here's here this is not a bandwagon because it's not I'm not a bandwagon, but this gives you an excuse to go to a different team. If your player on that team has a substantial injury or a career ending injury, you don't even know if they're gonna come back, bro. You have one team you can go to and have a sheet where you can sign off and go and approve. And I was approved to like the Warriors, and I've always watched Steph Curry since the Davidson days, bro. This is not a bandwagon right here, bro. This is just inaccurate, like factual statements, bro. Just, just I don't wanna barely. hear it. Barely. If this man does not do anything to help the Chicago Bulls get near the finals or he doesn't stay healthy, bro, I may have to find him. I mean, I, have, I ain't going to lie. I've been fan waiting to step through. I don't give a shit what anybody says. No, like, I was really, first of all, like, speaking for other people. I wasn't talking bandwagon for myself. When you're speaking in third person, you're, you're talking about some other people and you're speaking for them. Nobody admitted to being a bandwagon. You see what this guy, what's his name? The Chick Boom. What he likes to do, he likes to take my words and twist them and then throw extra words into my, you know what I'm saying, mouth, no homo. And make me seem like I said what I said when I did it. You can't do that. I don't like this, man. I don't approve of this video. But, is a but what did he say? But he act like... Fan launch, bro. What type of context text are you using, bro? You make sure this is a good hand. Whenever you're typing stuff, to make the most easiest handwriting for everybody to read, use Times New Roman. You're lucky. I gave you that secret. You know what I'm saying? When I took the little uh, computer class in like ninth grade, they told me Times New Roman is the best default font you can use, bro. I can't even read barely this handwriting, bro. Make sure you use Times New Roman for next time. This is for everybody else. Curry is the future of this damn generation, son. I be trying to tell these dudes since the Davidson days, bro. Look at that. Davidson days, bro. Because in 2015, you said this. And Steph Curry comes out of nowhere. Steph Curry, he went to a nobody college. Davidson, nobody talks about Davidson. Exactly. Nobody talks about Davidson. Nobody talks about Davidson. That's a no-name college. But I didn't say that he did not go to college. Bro. A lot of future, or a lot of NBA stars or whatever the past or present, most of them, let's be honest, bro, they go to no-name colleges, bro. They go to, like, these nobody schools nobody wants to live in the state of or be in the city of, you know what I'm saying? But because they're in that school, they make it lit. Come on, bro. Where is Davidson even at? In Alaska or some shit, bro? Nobody knows where Davidson is, bro. Nobody want, bro, come on, man. Don't do me like that. Here's more dick riding clips. <laughs> R.I.P. Vine, man. That was before he grew his hair up. First of all, if you're a Cavs fan or have any affiliations with your family members liking the Cavs, leave this fucking video right fucking now, dude. I don't give a fuck what you guys have to say right now, dude. The NBA is not only rigged for fucking money and fucking ratings, bro. Aisha Curry said this shit live on Twitter, bro. This is a fucking grown-ass adult married to a professional MVP legendary Hall of Fame. So he said, I wishes I was his girl now. So you see the slick shots that he's throwing all throughout this video? I peep everything, bro. Basketball player, bro! I'm not the fucking only one saying this shit! Oh, what? You gonna cry? No, go ahead, cry. Let me see you. Let me see you. Yo, this guy's an asshole for this, yo. <laughs> Dead ass. Dude is an asshole. Still talking nonsense, making excuses. What? Bro, I. Oh, this is Zach TV. Yo, 
fuck all y'all YouTubers doing it between the legs, man? This is not part, bro. Right? You know, I'm the best, you know, right? Uh, by like an inch. <laughs> <laughs> Be the best, you gotta beat the best. The best, right? Play it, yeah. But the rim, look, you see how uncoordinated like that. Dead ass, bro. Right I didn't like the those rims in the, the uh, corner, that gym we was at, bro. <laughs> a lot of y'all need to fail to realize that. Things like screws missing in a rim or the rim and the net being messed up causes a lot of missed shots, bro. So y'all people that be monitoring the community center gyms, how about y'all do your job and fix the damn rims, bro? <laughs> That's a foul. I didn't call shit. He did call him one. He called him. That's a huge foul. I got hit my rib cage, bro. That's a huge rib cage. Bro, I almost got literally like a broken rib from that. Hey, one means you call the foul out here in LA? That's what I mean, man. Yeah, bro. And one is everywhere. Bro, bro, look, man. You guys already know, man. I love New York, man. I love all my New York people, man. Anybody living in from New York, man, I salute y'all. Because, you know what I'm saying, y'all probably the number one state when it comes to being serious with basketball. But y'all also the biggest finesse when it comes to the basketball, bro. When you say and one, it means foul. Stop using, oh, I got to call foul. First of all, half the time we're out of breath when we're talking. So and one is the best thing you can say. Was confident enough to not man. need the foul. You talking shit? Yeah, but I mean, he called the foul anyway. Though. Right, bro. Bro, you got to <laughs> You got to it. Oh. Is it looking like five feet? You can't touch the ball you got, bro. Bro, have you ever heard this rule before? You got bro, niggas swear I make up rules, bro. That was in and out. You can't go out of bounds and come back with the ball. That's a self pass. That's like three violations, man. The paint was just freshly like painted, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it was just too slippery. Right. It makes it too hard to shoot, you know what I'm saying? Flight, what the fuck, man? Bro, I scored, bro. I'm better than cash. Can't even fucking dribble. I have just begun. Bro, I was about to skip over it. Thank you for ending that edit, bro. Bro, cancel that crossover cash did, okay? I better not see nobody email me, tweet that, mention me in a story on Instagram. No more about that move, bro. It's over. It's 2016 that happened, bro. It is about to be 2020 soon. Let it go. I'm really favorable my way, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I think my strategy of driving is working. I'm mad as hell my jump shot is off. I'm gonna just have to use all my stamina to just attack the paint and D-roll stop, baby. Hey, what? Oh, we need intermission? This, this is the thing that's different. I have the energy still. My stamina is still on 90. His is on 60. I don't know why you just pause the video, bro. It's facts. Look at Cheese, man. Bro, it was not funny. It was not that funny, yo, really. <laughs> this is beyond not funny, bro. Anybody have a straight face right now? Bro, and stop screenshotting weird faces that I make, bro, and using them as your profile pictures, please. Thank you. Bro, it is not that funny. Oh my gosh. The chick, boom. Can you do some better edits, please? This is not funny. Nobody is laughing, man. Chick, boom, edit this out. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, this is not funny. All times flight dropped since chapter one. Nobody 
really tried that game. Come on now. He does the same move every time. The same fucking move. Bro. Nobody really tried that game. Come on now. That was lucky. Bro, I should have won this game too. Luckiest game, bro. Oh, man. Oh, man. Bro, I, I should have beat Patty, bro. Patty was low key the weakest competition, too. It was easy almost. Oh, good. That's the first of all, offensive foul, too. I should have low key got the ball back, yo. Tell everybody the truth. The man cannot play the game of basketball. He has small hands. He can't catch the ball. Small he's got hands, bad right? He can't really small move. Hands. He's mobile. Doesn't really know what he's doing. Doesn't have a post move that he he puts to memory that he can do two times in a row. He has no game whatsoever. Plays no defense. Doesn't have the heart, the passion, or anything that comes with it. Wow. Oh my gosh, bro. Wow. We're not about to sit up here and do this, man. Flight's career stats, 1v1 record, 3 and 18. That is so cap, bro. That is so cap right now, bro. Like, I dead ass want to find this man right now, bro. And we gotta run the ones or something, bro. <clears throat> 3 and 18. That is so off. That's not even like accurate at all, bro. I played more than three. 18 plus 3, 1, 2, 3. That's 21. I played more than 21 1v1s, bro. I've had to play more than 21, I mean 21 1v1s, bro. 3 and 8, bro, I have at least 10 wins, bro. This shit is cap, bro. This is obviously straight favoritism, straight hate to make me look bad. Total points scored 101, total points allowed 234. Who keeps track of those types of stats? Huge improvement, supposedly. My record is, first of all, I don't want y'all to believe the 1v1 record. That's a 100% that's a inaccurate. Notable achievements, scored on Bone Collector, gets stunk by so... Tying against Michael Brown. You're saying tying against Michael Brown when Michael Miles Brown <clears throat> when I beat him. I beat him. I took the win fair and square, and you're saying I tied. How did I tie against Miles Brown if I won the game? Wow, bro. That's wow. Wow. Wow, bro. That's I don't like it, man. I don't like any of this, bro. If you, any of you guys literally approve of this video, there's something wrong with you, bro. This is the most inaccurate thing I've ever seen. And I'm honestly just going to go cry myself in the car at this point, bro. I want you guys to let me know what is my actual basketball record down below. There's no way that shit is 3-8. and eight. There's no way, bro. I've played more than 21 1v1 games. There's no way. There's no way possible there's 21 games I've only played in 1v1s, bro. I'm not going for it. 